Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I see this morning. The pattern is now shifting. That final storm moving out of Colorado, New Mexico, and now everything's going to shift to the northern tier of states, Pacific Northwest, BC, 211 through 215. And then it's going to transition. It's going to drop back down to the south, to the central Rockies, where the lows will start to hit California. And then the moisture will get blown into the interior with a powerful subtropical jet. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, 216 through 220. And it's possible there could be some atmospheric river moisture entrained within that period, which would intensify uh, the moisture content, obviously. And then in the northeast, the numbers are still up. I showed you that the trend, they trended up yesterday afternoon, and they're still staying up this morning for that 213 storm system. So we'll look at all that in this update. I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery this morning. All right, here's what we've got going on. So on this, the drier air is oranges and reds aloft, and the uh, the moisture aloft is going to be in your whites, your blues, your greens. So storm system right here, you can already see starting to take aim Pacific Northwest BC, and that's going to run across the northern tier of states. Oh, by the way, there's our departing area of low pressure out of Colorado, New Mexico. So that's going to be moving out. Um, and then behind it, you've got another storm system here, another storm system here. Now, not all of this is going to move into the, in, into the Pacific Northwest, but some of it will. Uh, what lingers further back to the west is going to sit and spin for a while. And then eventually the powerful subtropical jet streak will come by, pick it up, and it will become, and it'll bring in this entire trough into the west coast, into California. And that's the pattern shift back. Um, to the south. That comes 216 through 220. That whole thing moves in with a pretty strong subtropical jet. In fact, take a look at it. Here's the forecast jet stream. This is the forecast jet today by the end of day. Notice the jet stream kind of favoring the Pacific Northwest. That's where that area of low pressure is coming in. And then it stays up there. Um, there's 212 end of day. There's 213. Everything's kind of riding in ribbons of moisture across the northern tier. Now, 216, everything starts to shift to the south. Notice the boundary drops down through Wyoming, southern Idaho, into the Wasatch, into parts of uh, central and northern Colorado, and into California. So everything's getting steered on that subtropical jet from west to east. Here we are on 218 end of day, same kind of thing, 219 and 220. West to east, right off the Pacific. Again, we might be able to have um, some, some amount of atmospheric river contribution, not sure how much yet. Um, let me put some moisture on this. So here's the forecast radar. Notice where everything's at now. It's up in the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, interior BC. Looks like a good period, especially early in the period for snow accumulation. Okay, riding through time, there's 212, 515, there's 213. So a little bit of that brushes the Wasatch and the central and northern mountains of Colorado at times, some leftovers. Um, here's 214, uh, there's 215. Now we start to see a shift to the south. Look at the boundary. 216 in the morning starts to shift to the south. Everything's running right across the boundary, right across the jet. Here we are, 216, end of day. Look at that, look at that flow. Um, it, right into the Wasatch. We're going we're gonna to see big numbers in the Wasatch. I have a feeling out of this. And maybe even western and northwest Colorado, the Tetons will do well, and so will the Sierra eventually over time. Here's 217. There's 218. Look at that. The storm makes its move out of Colorado, out of California. This is the first initial st big storm system that makes the move out of California into the interior. Now we're talking, you know, heavy storm snow. Not just flow snow, but storm snow in Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona. So there's 218, end of day, and that moves out. Here comes the next storm, gathering steam into California. So that's, there's 220. So what's happening is you've got um, that flow that's moving moisture, and you've got a storm system, and then you've got the flow, and then potentially another storm system. So pretty active after 216 um, in particular. All right, latest numbers. So today through tomorrow, next 48 hours, most of the accumulations northern tier BC in particular. Look at uh, Kicking Horse and Revelstoke, Ferdy, Red Mountain, Baker, Whistler, anywhere from 6 to 10 um, inches, not out of the question, up in those areas. Second period, 213 through 215, um, some pretty nice numbers, anywhere from 9 to 12 across the Tetons. And look at the Wasatch. You know, that happens in particular on 215 into 216. Um, but this just runs through 215. You can see uh, 7, 8, 9 inches there as well and starts to clip western and northwest Colorado. Bachelor does well during this period, 6 to 12 through the, uh, the Sierra from Tahoe down to Mammoth. 
All right, here's the third period, 216 through 220. The flow is still focused, uh, very close to the Tetons, and in particular right over the top of the Wasatch, looking at almost two feet in this period alone. Uh, one to two feet in Colorado, pretty much all across all mountain zones. Another good shot of snow for Bachelor. I mean, you're going to be at probably two, three feet um, per grand totals. And in the, uh, the Sierra, two to three feet out of this period alone. Um, added with a foot in the previous, you're looking at, you know, two to three, two to four feet. So a really nice flow. All right, let's go to the northeast. Numbers are still high, especially southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, southern Maine, Massachusetts, southern New York State. We're looking at probably one to two feet in most of those areas. Any, anything in the purple shade is a foot or more. And then you're into that 8 to 14, 6 to 12 category, somewhere like central and northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, so Mount Snow is obviously right in the, uh, the heart of this as a bullseye. Magic Mountain, Okemo, uh, Hunter Mountain, Catamount, Massachusetts in general. So those are the areas that, that happens mainly on 213. Late 12 into 213, those are the areas that you'll want to hit for biggest snow in the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Take care, and I'll talk with you later.